What's good, y'all? My name is One Zendarius, and I'm back with more of the budget build guide in Warframe. As usual, these guys are to help new players who don't have the more powerful mods in the game. This time, I'm going to talk about the secondary weapons. If you do like the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for any and all updates. Also, I have a guild server where you can where I do one-on-one -on -one tutorials and build discussions. With that all the way, let's get right into it. Now, secondary weapons are just what they are. Backup weapons in case your primary weapons are a bad matchup or you're leveling them up and you don't have the right mods for them just yet. Secondary weapons should complement or deal a secondary source of damage different from the primary weapon. They are just as versatile and potent as its counterpart. Secondary weapons have one of the most universal mods in the game due to them being just that. Secondary weapons can be hand cannons, pistols, pocket launchers, auto pistols, or crossbows, but they are still under the category of pistol itself. Because of this, any secondary mod will work with them, with the exceptions being Riven and Weapon Exclusive Mod. I will talk more on this at a later date. Now, on to the mods themselves and what you should be looking for. Hornet Strike. Basically, this is the secondary equivalent of both Serration and Tactical Pump very useful in the early stages. Just don't upgrade them much until you have some points in your secondary. No return, razor shot, and concussion rounds. These are your physical damage mods for your pistol. Very good when paired with Horner Strike as they are great also for single damage type weapons. Convulsion, heated charge, pathogen rounds, and deep freeze. These are your elemental damage mods for your secondary. Just like with physical damage mods, they go great with Hornet Strike. Equip these for when you fight against certain factions. For example, when fighting against Corpus, Pathogen Rounds are your best friend since Toxin Damage bypasses shields and deal direct damage to their health, especially if they have enhanced shields. Hydraulic Crosshairs Excellent to use with high crit chance secondaries. When you get a headshot, it boosts the crit chance when you aim for a certain time. You don't need to kill them to get the bonus. As long as you deal headshot damage, it will count and increase your crit chance. Pistol Gambit. Pair this with Hydraulic Crosshairs for an additional boost of crit chance. This is key to getting high damage in the game. This also, this increases critical chance in general. Target Cracker. This increases your crit damage. This should be side by side with the other two mods I just mentioned so you can get those orange and red crit numbers. There are more mods in the game, but I'll speak more on it in a separate guide. These are some of the these are some good mods to start off with when you first pick up a secondary weapon. You may not get all of them in one go, but having just a couple of them will make it much easier to take down enemies. And as I explained before, don't upgrade mods immediately after you get them because you can't equip mods if it ex if it exceeds your weapon's drain or in other words, skill cap, skill point cap. I apologize again. So hold off on keeping your weapons relevant. That's all for me for now. Remember, when your weapon is at max rank, unequip all mods you have on and make sure you take a good look at your stats. Every weapon doesn't benefit from the same build, but may work better when you experiment with different mods. And once again, if you haven't done so, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more as I'll be updating various mechanics over time. I also have a gilded server that you can join that also has resources to the mentioned subjects. So if there's something that you don't understand or want more information on, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.